hello friends this is Jesus here uh, welcome to my part 2 of FTP tutorial so as we discussed last video in this video we're gonna see how do we transfer the data files between one uh, IBM server to other server and also uh, how to do that uh, in the batch mode which is uh, programmatically so let's get started so for this purpose uh, now I have two systems opened so one is actually the, our favorite uh, Bob 400 and this one is actually the uh, Texas 400 version so uh, actually I am I got a three month subscription so I'm just going to make use these two servers to demonstrate this so now what we are going to do like uh, as we uh, discussed last time so from this server I'm going to issue a FTP command with the command called FTP then uh, pub400.com okay so this will open up the FTP uh, between from this server to the pub400 server it's open so now we can just login uh, I want to say dev OS because I have my profile in pub400 and my password and I should be able to see and it says uh, home dev OS my current directory and if I put I ls I'm going to see whatever is there inside my uh, pub400 basically so here work link should be able to see that home dev OS good so if you want to again uh, transfer files from this to this uh, we can just use get put those stuffs so as we said uh, pwd you can come to know what is your present working directory and also you can uh, change that using the cd command so now here one one of the important thing is uh, the site command so if you remember last time we have set two kind of um, uh, modes right one is ifs mode another one is actually the uh, library mode so i'll demonstrate now so okay so let's see here so in uh, texas 400 server i'm having a file called text.txt okay simply I, I just want to transfer this file to this particular uh, pub 400 okay so i'm going to the usual ftp command and giving text time okay so my user id and password okay so as you said currently it's already in home dev us okay and what i'm going to say uh put uh, home user 432 which is my this uh, the servers directory and test dot txt okay and in the two directory i'm it's already there uh, with the same home dev us so i just press it, press enter now you can see there is error the file format is not valid because use the format library slash file that member this is because it is using the uh, name format zero so there are two name formats so if you want to transfer the file in our ifs style then we have to use the name format one for that you can issue a command log site space name fmt1 so what this will do this will set both server and client name format to one so it will recognize now ifs style of uh, uh, identifying files now let's try the uh, same com put command okay but this time what i'm going to do i'm going to give a new name uh, so new test.txt okay and you can see it is trying successfully so if you go here and press f5 and you can see the new test appears so if you come down and press 5 i should be able to see this is a test file from texas 400.com so this is what the basic uh, okay you can you get the idea right so the commands are same uh, when transferring files between two servers whether it's from windows pc to a s400 server or between two s400 servers it's going to be same now let's see if you want to do that in a batch mode or uh, programmatically okay so i'm just going to come here and typing quit so it's quitting okay so how do we do that basically uh, you can see the command right? ftp f4 so ftp f4 so ftp is actually a command a cl command so you can give uh, pub 400.com and then shift f2 you can see this is a command ftp remote system then system so you can use this command in a cl program to just uh, run execute our ftp commands now the question is where will our commands be so for that what you need to do we need to create a text file okay as a member and in that you can just have whatever the commands you want to execute okay and then you can uh, execute the ftp command inside the cl program provided this will be executed so let me show the simple example so this is my actually my program which i have created a cl program which is going to do the ftp so if you come down there are only four lines of code okay what this command will do is when it is running in a cl program so it will basically take the values from this particular uh, input 
file and then it will give us the response in the output file so we need to override our both member files as input and output so that we will get the response so in order to easily understand this let's run this and then see the example so what we have is actually i'm totally going to create a new steps okay so f6 so you're going to our input uh, command file okay it will should be in txt member txt okay and then we'll fill it up later file and then we should be having uh, out file should be txt okay and then we will come out so if you see this is our input command file so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take the values from this copy to Okay, so what we are doing, we are logging into uh, Web400 with some of the users. So I have taken 109 as example, and then we are executing a log site command, and then we are putting the data into that particular directory. Okay, so let us go out, and then this out file will be empty as of now because we'll get the response here, and then we need to have a program. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same program, test uh, FTP. You can see the input command file is our input file and then out file is going to be our output file so here what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to say my input command file is going to be my input and then here the output file is going to be my output okay and then we are, we are saying just okay just do the ftp to this particular server with taking the values from this particular member and then give us the response in this particular uh, output okay and then finally we are doing a delete override so file okay so before we executing let's see what is the output we are expecting so let's see here so let me log in with this particular user ready for 400 sign up user 0109 user 0109 so click so you can see test one is already there so i'm just going to delete this so we it is not, it's nothing so we are going to put our file from this server to the per 400 uh, in this particular directory okay fine so let's uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, where is the serial problem so let them let me compile this after compiling, I'm going to call test FTP. So now this is executing, and you can see it's taking time. It's okay. Done. So if you come here, press F5, we are seeing the file is now interfaced. So if you want to see the responses, you have to go to the out file. You know, previously it was empty. Now if you go down, see if you go inside, you'll be seeing what has happened. So this is how the FTP is executed in the batch mode. Uh, between servers using the CL program so I hope this helps and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section uh, see you in the next video with another concept thanks for watching